Hey everybody, we're out here at St. Pete Beach, the south end, and it's a little breezier than they said it was going to be, so it's probably going to show up on the camera. I haven't been out in a while, and I'm ready to get it. Let's go. Right, got a loud 31. 10. But solid 10. Probably pick up. Oh, it's a big old beer can. Yep, or something. Capri Sun. Nice. Alright. Well, throw that in the bag. Throw that out later. Wow, that's a big one. Roaring waters cruising. Oh, Capri Sun. Okay. Let's see if that gets my bag all juicy. All right, I didn't even turn my camera on yet. First water target, this puppy rang up an 18. Way steep water. Uh, that's why, you know, I took a bottle cap and I didn't even turn my camera on, and here it is. Pretty sure that's a gold ring. It has all the look. That's Killer Modilla. Man, first water target, dude. Sweet! Love it. There you go, GoPro. There you go. Objects are closer than they appear. All right. Well, it's a little more choppy than I thought, but the water's about 72.3, so it's Florida, man. And that's the Gulf of Mexico. Let's go. Loud 20, 21. If I can get a scoop on this. <sighs> Might have it on the first scoop. Oh, wow. Let's see what we got here. It's probably a penny. But it was pretty loud. There it is, it's Penny. Right. Oh, might, be a, might be a copper. Alright, in the bag. And this one was, I got all kinds of stuff around here, like where that penny was. Maybe it's a change uh, coin spill, but this heard something loud in here. If I have it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. another one. Nope. Diamond. Been there a while. I think the sand washed out of here a little. I'm getting some shells. And that typically means that uh, some of the sand moved out of here. Alright, on to the next one. Stinky. Down that stinky sand here, yeah, there's something there. Dude, that's a pull tab from the prehistoric days when people's, people's thumbs were bigger. That's a granddaddy. All right, in the pouch. Oh, uh, yeah. That would be a can bottom top. All right, that'll be fun to fold up and put in the pouch. That's all right. Heading down toward the resorts. That way. That's north. Heading north. And that's the Gulf of Mexico. Lab 12. Can't see the bottom that well today. Let me see if I can. Yeah. 
And it's a pull tab. Nope. Yeah, it is. Pull ring. Well, that's old. That's when they made beer like Blatt's. Uh, black label light. All right, kids. All right, I got a loud one. 18. I saw a lot of a lot of numbers, a nine, who knows, probably a bottle cap, you never know, it's pretty loud though, loud, yeah. Some wave action. Whoa. Maybe. It's a maybe. You get near the resort, man. There's a lot of fancier pieces of cam slaw here. Oh yeah, they up here at the resort, man, they got the good beer. Corona extra. Oh. There you go. That's looking at the resort. Lab 30. Could be the can. Some scoop. Something right there, too. That's an oldie. Well, it's a state's quarter, but it's been here a while. Okay, welcome to the wrap-up. Um, I was out at St. Pete Beach last Sunday. About four hours. About three hours in the water, and then I walked on the land on the way back toward my parking. Um, I knew it was going to be a decent day because as soon as I walked in the water, there's only like three or four inches of sand until you kind of started hitting shells. So I know it wasn't sanded in and that was a little over waist deep. Now, you start walking back toward the beach, the dry, dry sand, and about eh, thigh deep water, that's when the banks started, and, um, you know, it started getting sandier, but it was still a good slope. So I was mostly about a little over waist deep, all the way from the south end of St. Pete Beach, all the way up to the trade winds. First water target was the ring. Um, you know, it's... Uh, looks like rolled gold it's got the um it's got a marking inside of it let me see if i can zoom in on that 10k and it looks like an r and a g and uh the ring itself is you know scratched up but for the naked eye you can't tell it just looks like a nice gold ring with silver stuff in the center 
I haven't had it tested or anything. I don't. I might mess around with it, but you know, it's basically it is what it is. Bunch of coins, nothing valuable. I uh, on this video, I showed almost every clip of everything I found, except maybe four or five uh, really junky uh, stuff like this that I didn't show because it took me a long time to get it. But I had a great time. The water's warming up. It's two or three degrees warmer than it was last weekend, so it's probably at like 74, 5, 6. Yeah, I, I like it. Um, hadn't been out in a while. Uh, the weather's been kind of crazy, but it's getting warm now, so it just shows you that. You can find the ring first, or you can find it last. If I would have started at the other end and walked the other way, it would have been four hours and then found a ring. But... Um, that was pretty fun, and I uh, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time.